I think everybody that played a lot of minutes in there, was anybody you were really particularly impressed with tonight? Well, I thought over, overall that, you know, we had some good production from a lot from a lot of players. Uh, you know, I thought Sam Fearing, you know, she wasn't feeling well today, uh, but I thought she came out and played extremely hard. It, it's just the turnovers that she's got to cut down on. You know, like I, I told her, like, if you're not feeling good on Sunday, then obviously I can't play you because you throw it to the other team when you're not feeling well. And, and we can't have that. So there, there are turnovers that, that she knows she can't make that she has to cut down on. Uh, of our 17 turnovers, I, I think 11 of them came from our post players. And that's we, – we've got to get rid of that. They aren't handling the ball enough to, come to, to get 11 of our 17 turnovers. Yeah, Nick. Nick. Is that Nick? Yeah. yeah. Hey, if you don't do your job, I'll do it. Don't worry about it. Nick's never on top of things before. If you need anything, a credential, please email me first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you going to let him coach? He'd like that a lot. He'd probably like he can't, he can't even do his job. <laughs> How am I supposed to let him coach, too? Are you kidding? Put him in the starting lineup? No, uh, Nick, Nick, Nick does a great job. Uh, no, for the game, overall, you know, our goal is to try to come out here tonight and see if, see if we can get a few more quarters uh, under nine. You know, nine, nine points or less, that was our focus. Uh, the first quarter, we had it right there. And then we had some, uh, some breakdowns. We, we give up a layup on a sideline out-of-bounds play. We don't uh, communicate. We give up the three with, like, 52 uh, seconds to go when we'd only given them nine. You know, but those, those are things that we're going to be able to take the film back and, and, and show them. It, these are the breakdowns that are costing us. We did get a particularly good effort uh, early on out of Taylor Roberts, 0-0, uh, zero, zero, and then uh, it looked like Taylor Williams, number 14, kind of got you off to another game, or there was a few players you all kind of keying off for that. Well, it was Wooten first. You know, she's the four, 14th lead scorer in the country. She averaged 22 a night. So, you know, that was our main focus. I thought she played extremely hard. And then 14, you know, it's just, it, it's a challenge sometimes. It's like, guys, you know, when you've made three threes, and it's like you, you think you might want to guard her now. And, of course, we didn't because we helped off of her to help onto a non-shooter who didn't shoot it, but threw it to her who did. So it, it's little things like that that we really have got to get better. You've got to know who you're guarding. And that, that's my challenge to a few of them. They all want to play more. But I'm like, guys, you have these breakdowns. I, you're not giving me the confidence to put you out there. Coach, what went into uh, this year's beautiful sweater? I don't want to say ugly sweater. I like that. No, well, <laughs> I've got to give my wife the credit. You know, she helps, she helps me out. Um, I could probably do it myself, just put my own outfit together. You know, being colorblind. I, I could bring out some stuff, people, that I, I'll think looks great, and you'll be like, oh, God, that's awful. <laughs> you know, but I'm fortunate that she, for all the games, my wife helps me make, make sure. I, I really think it's just a fact I don't embarrass her with how I look. <laughs> uh, so she took care of this for me, and uh, I, I thought my staff, you know, we tried to have fun with this, and I think they did an outstanding job of trying to enjoy the moment of making Ugly Sweater Night a, 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 a positive evening. What about Sam? Yeah, you like Sam, he, he always, he's, that's, you know, he takes pride in this. And uh, the sad thing is I think that I think that was his suit he got married in. But uh, I'm not sure of it. You know, for him, that, that's pride and joy right there. No, he really, that's, that's a great thing about uh, Coach Purcell. He, he's got a great personality. He's, he loves what he does. He, he's fully invested. It doesn't matter what 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 we do. He's invested in it, uh, and and the players enjoy it because it's you know he, they're always waiting to see what he's going to come out in. Coach, uh, you made the way uh, from one of the biggest non conference games, if not the biggest non conference game this season. Uh, every year it seems to be close. Last year, you got to overtime. Talk about that a little. Going to their place, especially this year. No, we're expecting a great crowd. I mean, you know, K Kentucky draws well. Uh, they've been a lot of great games that have come down to the wire. Uh, I, I expect the same. You know, they 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 had a tough road, road trip in Florida, but, you know, two games that, that, that they're leading in and could have gone either way. So 
you know, I know they're coming back. They're going to be dialed in. They're going to want this win as bad as we are. Uh, and I expect it to be a great basketball game. I expect it to be a game that there's going to be a lot of runs in it, a lot of ups and downs, and it's a matter of what team can handle it. Uh, what team doesn't allow a, a two-minute run to turn into a five-minute run? You know, it's it's two or four-point game, and all of a sudden it goes to six. Can you cut that off and get it back to four, or does it go to 12? You know, I, I think that's where you're going to find out who's going to win or lose this game on Sunday because I, I expect it to be a great basketball game. What makes this rivalry so special? Well, good, uh, good players. You know, it's, it's one thing I go. I mean, you, uh, you look at men, uh, men's basketball and us, I mean, Kentucky just dropped out of the top tw- uh, 25 because of their road losses this past. But they, they're at Florida Gulf Coast. They're at Miami, two really good schools. This might be the first time since – 09 when we were not very good after we'd gone to the final, final four and we had, had all those injuries that both teams aren't ranked. You know, that's like men's basketball. It, it's very seldom that both teams are not ranked in the top 15, top 10 in women's basketball. That's what I try to tell everybody. They're like, man, you know, but this sport, they win all the time. They haven't lost. It's like, well, yeah, look at both of our programs. We're top 10, top, uh, uh, top 15. Games can go either way when you're playing those caliber of teams. And that's what makes it so, so much fun of the players. You know, they're players that can take over games. This four-game sequence you played against Tennessee schools, is this something where you're going to have to return the visit to them next year, or how does that set up? No, I think, you know, we went to UT Martin last year. Right. We went to Vandy last year. So now they just returned to us. Uh, middle, we were down there last year. So these are just return games of, of home and homes okay. that that we had done. Coach, that player is scoring in double figures for your team. How encouraging is that? Well, I, th- I think it's great. I mean, I, I think it shows that we've got the ability to, to score from many, from many different you know, positions on the floor, and that's what you want. You want depth. Um, I, I, I think our shooting percentage is what encourages me because they all they weren't all just layups. You know, we go eight of seventeen from the three point line. You know, we're showing that that, that we can knock down per, uh, per perimeter shots because it's one thing we're going to have to do. I think on Sunday, I expect them to mix things up, play different defenses, and we're going to have to recognize what they're playing and then make sure we uh, we attack it. They always want to force a bunch of turnovers. Of course, the punch too. How big in the end is that? Uh, ball control is going, going to be really important. Uh, you know, I just told told our kids. Uh, you know, it almost felt like there for for a little bit in the third quarter that we were either scoring or turning it over. We're shooting it at fifty percent on the season. I'm like, you know, I expect if if we can get it down to between ten and fourteen turnovers a night, I'm fine with that. With how we're trying to play, you know, you can't play. Upbeat. You can't play fast tempo, fast pace, and expect to not turn the ball over every once in a while. It's going to happen. Uh, but we've got to le- eliminate the unforced turnovers, which to me are the cross court skip passes in the back court, dribbling it off your leg. You know, those are the ones that we've got to cut down on because I-, I think it's going it's, it's going to come down to who to who who values the basketball the most on Sunday. Is this game a good one to kind of kick off a road stretch and then you come home and it does get easier after that? Uh, it's kind of like real. Time no, it's now. it. Yeah, it's it's for real now. You know, we've got K- Kentucky on Sunday. We'll travel out to, to to Denver on Monday morning to play Air, Air Force. You know, Colorado Springs is where Kylie Shook's from, and we try to get our kids back as close as we can to home at least once dur- during their career. Uh, then they'll all go home for Christmas from there, and then we'll, we'll meet back on the twenty sixth, practice twenty sixth, twenty seventh, and travel down to Tech to play Georgia Tech on the road, NC State on the road. And then our first home game is back here with Duke. I mean, it's you've got to show up and play. There's no qu- no question about it. And uh, you know, it, it's going to be good. You've got to, you know, it, it's I tell people there. You know, I've had people go, man, the ACC didn't do you much of a favor with, with with the schedule. You know, I look at it as I've got two on the road starting off. Well, there's two of my eight finished. So now my next fourteen, you know, I, you, you you've got a bunch at home. So, I, you know, it doesn't bother me. 
Thank you, everybody. Appreciate it. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Coach.